Again, welcome back to CS102, Introduction to Programming Using Java. This lab will cover chapter three of our textbook, how to use the Java built-in class. The main objective in this lab work is to use the Java math class to solve two problems. Our first problem is to write a program that generates a random integer radius value and also a height value for a cylinder in a range from one to 20. Inclusive, again, inclusive means including one and also the 20. And then we are going to compute the volume and also the surface area of the cylinder. So in this problem, our two input will be the radius of a cylinder and also the height of a cylinder. But we are going to generate these two values randomly between one to 20. Now the formula to find a volume is given to us to be pi r square h. Again, r is our radius, h is our height. Also they give us the surface area formula, which is two pi r h. So again, our main class name is cylinder calculations. So our file name will be cylinder calculations.java. So we are going to randomly generate a value between one to 20. So we import the random class from utility package. Then we're also going to format our output. So we also import decimal format class from java.test. So in our main program, the first thing we did is to, again, get our random object. We create our random object name rand. Again, the name can be any name I chose rand. Then next, we create the decimal format object name FMT. Again, we are going to use it to format our, format our output. So here we can see that the output will give us four decimal places, 0. For ash. So again, we use the run object to generate a value between 1 to 20. So again, if we have next int 20 as our argument, it means we are going to generate a value between 0 to 19. So we had one to it so that it can be from 1 to 20. The same thing applies to the height also. We use the random object run dot nest int method, and then the value will be 20. So between one to 20 means 20 plus one. So now we have our two inputs. So next we are going to write or convert the formula. So we know again in the math class, we can get the power value. So in, in Java PI is now for the power value, which is 3.142. So we have math.par times radius, times radius, because the formula is radius squared, then times the height. So we get our volume. Then the area will be two times mat.pi, which is two, two times power, times the radius and also times the height. Again, the radius and the height, we already generate those two inputs. So they are in our variable radius and height. Again, using the run, random object called the rand. So now we have our input radius and height, and also we do our operations. We find the volume and also we find the area. So now we're going to print our result, but before that, we print the random value for the radius we have, and also we print the height. Then next we print the volume. Now the volume, we format it using the decimal format object name fmt dot the format method then we print the volume so the format will be in this form here zero point whatever the value is and the four decimal places the same thing applied to the area so we are using the fmt object with the format method to print it so let's look at the second program so the second problem is to write a program that will read the length of the side of a triangle from the user. Then we compute the area of a triangle using Aaron's formula below. So the formula is given to us in which the S represents half of the parameter of the triangle and ABC represent the length of the three side. Then we need to print 
the area to three decimal places. So this again, we can use the decimal format uh, class. So the format is given to us. So the first thing we need to do is to get the input. And then from there, we do our, we find the area, then we print our results. Also, we are going to have the decimal format class to format our output to three decimal places. And we are using the scanner class because this time we are going to get the input from the user. Our previous example, we use the random class to generate the input randomly. So our main class name is triangle area. So that means this file name will be triangle.java. Again, we have our input find and the main function. First thing we did, we create our scanner object. Again, we are using system.in. So we are going to get the input from the keyboard. Next, we tell the user to enter the length of SAD1. So user enter the length. We declare the variable name SAD1. And we use the next double because SAD1 data type is double. Next, we tell the user to enter the second side. So we use the scan object scan dot next double. And we declare variable name SAD2. Data type again is double. And we get the third side which is again the variable name is side three and we use the scan object again with nest double to get the input so now our three input that we need we have get them side one side two side three and the formula we convert the formula to java so we have s will give us side one plus side two plus side three divided by two which is half of the parameter According to the question, the side, the S is half of the parameter. So if we have three side, if we had all the side or the parameter, we find the parameter, we divide it by two. And now we can find our area. So our area is the square root. So instead of square root, we use the mat dot square root function. S times S minus side one times s minus side two times s minus side three. Everything is square root. So we can see the formula here, the square root of everything, s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. Again, a, b, c are the three sides, side one, side two, side three. So here in the formula, we say mat the square root, which is square root of everything. Then the first s times s minus side one, times s minus side two. Again, side one will be a, side two will be b, side three will be c. Then after that, they say we should print our result in three decimal places. So we already have our decimal format class. So in this case, we create our decimal format class object name fmt. Then we use it fmt.format and we print the area. Now in the decimal format, we can see the three decimal places, three hash bounds. So that will be the conclusion of this lab work. Again, this lab work, we are doing input process and then the output. The main goal here is using built-in Java classes. And here we mostly use the math class with the square root function, and also we use the power constant value, which is also in the math class. In our previous uh, lab work, we also use the math class to find the sine, cosine, and tangent. Again, see you in the next lab work. Thank you.